we have another example here if theta is an angle in standard position and the point P with coordinates 5 and negative 12 is on the terminal side of theta what are the values of the six trigonometric functions of theta okay so to answer this one again let us draw and look at the uh, the, gra the graph of theta okay okay so the given point is 5 negative 12 so 5 negative 12 is on the fourth quadrant of the Cartesian plane so Okay, assuming the point is here okay so the point is there so this is our terminal side and this is our initial side okay so our theta should be measured counterclockwise from the initial side to the terminal side so that is our theta Okay, so the terminal side contains the point P with coordinates 5 and negative 12. Okay, so we can actually compute for the value of R. R equals the square root of okay, 5 squared plus negative 12 squared. So R equals the square root of five five squared is twenty-five, twelve squared is one forty-four, and then so one sixty-nine, so the square root of one sixty-nine is thirteen. Okay, so the value of R is thirteen. Remember again I say R is always positive, but at this point one of the coordinates is negative so signs will matter data okay so let us now write the six trigonometric functions of theta so sine of theta is y over two, over r so y is negative 12 so this is negative 12 over 13 okay it's y over r y is negative 12 r is 13 then cosine of theta is x over r so this is positive positive 5 over 13 and then tangent of theta is y over x so negative 12 over 5 it's negative because y is negative okay, and then cos second of theta is negative 13 over 12 and then second of theta is positive 13 over 5 and then cotangent of theta is negative 5 over 12 okay so for this example uh, sine of theta, cosecant of theta, tangent of theta, and cotangent of theta are negative and cosine of theta and second of theta are positive. Okay, if you look at the uh, illustrations below this video, you will see discussion on the signs of the uh, trigonometric functions okay so the sign of the trigonometric function depends on the quadrant where the point lies okay or where the terminal side of the angle lies okay so just like in here if the point is in the first quadrant then x 
and y, the coordinates of x and y are ba uh, both positive. That means that sine and cosine of theta will be positive and in return, tangent of theta will also be uh, positive for the first quadrant. Again, remember, the sine of, of sine is the same as the sine of cosecant because they are reciprocal. Same is true with cosine and secant. The sines of cosine and secant should be the same since they are reciprocal. And then tangent of n cotangent should also be the same. Okay, for the second quadrant, of course, in the second quadrant, we have a negative uh, x coordinate and a positive y coordinate. That means for the second quadrant, uh, cosine of theta will be negative because cosine of theta is x over r. So if x is negative, then cosine of theta should be negative. And y is positive, that means sine of theta should be positive because sine of theta is y over r. Okay? So for the third quadrant, okay, uh, for the second quadrant, tangent of theta is negative because tangent of theta is y divided by x. So positive divided by negative is negative. For the third quadrant, negative for x and then negative for y. Okay, this means that sine of theta is negative, cosine of theta is negative, but tangent of theta is positive since negative divided by negative is positive. And quadrant 4 is like our example. Okay, so cosine is positive, sine is negative because uh, we have a positive x coordinate and a negative y coordinate okay so the the sign of the trigonometric function depends on the quadrant where the terminal side of the angle lies okay